In 2 Corinthians chapter 8, we see a call to generous giving from the Apostle Paul. Now there's nothing that grips the human heart more than a rags to riches story. Almost all the great stories of our time are infused with this notion of a triumphant underdog. It's as if the human heart was built to long for redemption. Listen to what Paul writes in verse 9. You know the generous grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, so that by his poverty he could make you rich. Jesus laid aside all the eternal riches and glory and honor and majesty of heaven when he stooped down to earth and took on the form of man. He was born in a feeding trough, he lived a humble and perfect life, and he died a painful death in earthly poverty. Now the magnitude of his sacrifice is incomprehensible, but it wasn't without purpose. Christ went from riches to rags so that we might go from rags to riches. This is the grace of Jesus that Paul points the Corinthian church to. This is the very gospel itself, the greatest redemption story ever told. Now, apart from this grace, we are completely lost, separated from God by our sin for all eternity. Yet for those who believe the gospel, human poverty is instantly replaced by divine riches through Christ. The believer's tattered rags are wrapped up in the white robes of Christ's righteousness and ushered into the kingdom, to the palace of God, given direct access to the King himself. And once we begin to understand the riches that we've been given in Christ, we also become generous givers of these riches to others. We begin to lay our lives down so that others may experience the glorious riches of his grace as well. The stooping and lifting rags to riches redemption story, it multiplies and it continues through us, his body, the church.